Hello, everyone. This is Harish from Optic. Account provisioning is a complex process that adds a lot of overhead to IT admins. For example, the IT admins need to keep track of all the internal approvals. In addition, they need to activate the new user account on a specific day at a specific time. Can this process get automated? Absolutely. In today's tutorial, I'm super excited to share an implementation using Octa workflows that automates the account creation and activation process. This implementation integrates with Jira. This implementation is available as a template. You can add to your work environment and get started right away. In this tutorial, there are three parts. In the very first part, I'll provide an overview of the configuration in Jira. Next, I'll walk you through the templates in Okta workflows. And finally, we'll wrap it up with a live demo. Let's get started. Right now, I am in Jira Service Management. In this implementation, I've created a new project called Help Desk. In this project, I've also created a new service request called Onboard New Employee. This service request also has some custom fields required for account creation. The fields include new employee's first name, last name, uh, the start date, and time. In the interest of time, I've gone ahead and created a couple of service requests. Let's look at that. I have approved a service request for Alex Wilbur, who'll be starting on 8-2 at 8 a.m. And there is a service request that is currently pending for Tom Smith, who's going to be joining the QA team on 8-9, which is a week from today. The status is currently in progress. This wraps up the configuration on the JIRA side. Now let me walk you through the workflow. Once you add the workflow to your work environment, you're gonna see three flows and one table. Let's start with the table first. The new employees table currently has columns for keeping track of the new employee's first name, last name and start date. So you have information about Alex Wilbur here and the time here is an ETC uh, and Alex is starting on a two. Now let's take a look at each one of these flows. Store new employee from Jira. This flow is automatically triggered when an issue is updated in Jira that meets the JQL query. Let me walk you through the JQL query here. Let me expand this window here. The JQL query here uh, looks for a project help desk and where the request type is onboard new employees and the resolution is approved. When these parameters are met, uh, new, a new row is actually created in the data table I walked you through earlier. Now let me walk you through the next flow, which is finding employees starting now. This flow needs to be scheduled and you can add it to a scheduler right here. And this flow uh, does a search on the table um, I shared with you earlier, looking for rows where the account created is false and the start date of the new employee is less than or equal to the current time. And the retrieved rows are then passed to a child workflow, uh, child flow, where the user account is actually created and activated. Now let's look at the child flow. This child flow first creates the username and the email. Uh, in this demo, I kept it really simple. I've generated the username and email by concatenating the first name and last name with the period and then adding the company domain. Uh, you, you are welcome to change the logic based on your business needs. Uh, 
Then this information is passed to this Okta create user card where the new user account is created and also activated by default. Once the user account is created and activated, we change the status of the column account created to true because the account has been created. Now let's get ready for, now let's do a live demo. Um, for the live demo, let me go back to Jira again. So I do have a pending request uh, that Tom Smith is going to join the QA team. In the interest of time, uh, let's make an assumption that we have received all the approvals here and we can go ahead and approve it. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve it. I'm gonna change the resolution here. And I'm gonna change the resolution to approve. I'm gonna add a quick note here. And let's go ahead and resolve this issue. So the status here is now changed to result. And now we have two approved onboarding requests. Alex Wilbur starts on A2, which was a day earlier than today. And Tom Smith is going to be joining a week from today. Now let's see what happens on the Okta site. I'm going to open up this flow here, which is storing new employees in Jira. I'm going to open up the flow history. We can we notice that there are two entries right here. Uh, we notice that Alex uh, Wilbur row was created earlier, and now that we approve Tom Smith, a row has been created in the data table with information about Tom Smith's start date. Now let's look at the table. The table now has two rows and you have the respective start date for each one of the new employees. Okay. So Alex Wilbur starts on 8-2, which is a day earlier than today uh, in the interest of time. Uh, so we can actually create this account. So for that, let's go to the next flow here, which is finding employees starting now. And I'm gonna go ahead and test this flow here. So this flow picks up Alex Wilbur and sends it off to the child workflow. Now let's pull up the child workflow right here. And let's look at the flow history. You can see that a new account has been created for Alex Wilbur. It has been provisioned and the status on the account is now changed to true. Wonderful. Now let's look at the table right here. You can see that an account now has been created for Alex Wilbur, uh, but we still can't yet create an account for Tom Smith because that is, he's starting on a day that is a week from today. All right. Now let's take a look at uh, the welcome email Alex is going to receive. Um, Wonderful. So Alex just received a welcome email from Okta uh, requesting him to activate his Okta account. This wraps up uh, the live demo. Let me do a quick recap here. Uh, in this tutorial, um, I shared with you the configuration on the Jira site. I walked you through the flows of the template. And then finally, we wrapped it up with a live demo. This implementation is available as a workflow template. You can add to your environment and get started right away. Thank you.